Hey guys, Kyle McClellan with you here today. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to be tying Atlas Mike's Glow UV yarn and our spawn sack. So uh, why this is effective is it adds a hot spot to your egg and it also adds a fluff off your knot where you can add scent to it. So you can use whatever scent you like. We're going to be doing shrimp. Throughout the different times of the year I like to add different kinds of scents. Uh, you know, during the during the fall time, I'm going to use Atlas Mike salmon egg oil. In the winter time, give them something a little sweet. Add uh, the anise, and in the summertime, I really like this shrimp. But this shrimp can be effective all the time too. So you can really play with these scents and switch it up a little bit, especially for heavy pressured fish, and you can strike a bite. So we're going to be tying with Potsky's natural trout eggs, and uh, these. These are something new and they're real eggs and they're very effective. It's been really nice because I don't have to kill fish anymore. Um, this makes for a quick easy day with guiding. I don't have to process and mess with that so this is really nice. So let's get started here. So you can mix up any different color combinations you'd like. Uh, one of my favorites is chartreuse with orange yarn. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut a piece of this yarn. And you want to use about a three inch strip. So you got this big long roll here. Now you only want to use about I'd say a third of this strip so you, you can pull it back cut off about two three inch piece snip it okay and you'll take your netting take your netting you'll add however many eggs you'd like we'll tie about I don't know a dozen or so in there maybe a little more and now we're gonna fold it up just a little bit and we're gonna put our yarn at the top of our top of our egg sack there now we're going to fold our ends so that yarn's coming out. We're going to twist it. You can see how there's that nice hot spot in there. Okay, now we're going to take our yarn, our miracle thread, wrap it five, six times, wrap it five, six times, wrap it five, six times. Now when you tie, when you tie yarn in your um, spawn bag, you're going to want to wrap it a few more times than you typically would with just a regular spawn bag. Just because that yarn is going to be a little bulky in your knot, so you want to make sure to put a few extra wraps in there. Okay, snap it. Now you can add, leave just a little, you know, depending on how much scent you want to run, you know, leave just a little bit more of a tail end. Some, a lot of times when I fish natural bags, I like to trim it, I like to trim it right just above the knot, but since I'm using this, um, using this yarn for my scent here, I'm going to leave just a little more so it absorbs that scent. So just a little bit, not much. That's good. Now you can kind of pry it open a little bit, and that's perfect right there. Now you got a good hot spot in your egg. This is going to really show up once it's in the water. It's kind of dull right now because it's absorbed with juices, but once it's in the water, it'll really show. Then you have your nice patch of yarn on the top. You can fill that up with any kind of any kind of scent you would like. Like I said, this is shrimp throughout the different times of the year. I like to mix it up. This is really good in the summer especially, but all times of the year it works good. Um, Salmon egg oil, spring, spring fall time, anise in the winter, shrimp in the summer is my favorite. So I'm going to add that just to that knot, just like that, and that bag's going to be ready to fish. So you can also tie this up in Atlas Mike's bait sack floaters as well. And the reason why you'd want to run that is if you're bottom bouncing in the river, fishing the bottom, it's going to float your spawn bag just up off the bottom, keep it out of the logs, the rocks, the snags. And you can also use it while you're fishing, you know, on the beach or in a lake as well. And that's going to float your bag up off the bottom. So I'm going to run about, oh, I'd say a dozen eggs, a dozen natural eggs in there. Okay, now I'm going to add about four to five floaters for this sack. You want to make sure you got enough floaters in there so your sack's going to float. Okay, um, so I got five in there. That's going to be perfect. Now I'm going to add, just like before, I'm going to add my yarn just to the top and bring it up with my knot. Twist it, fold the ends. So you can see I got that nice hot spot. And like I said, now with this yarn, you want to add just a few more wraps than you typically would. So I'm going to do five, pull it, five, pull it, five, pull it, five, pull it, snap it. Okay, now I'm going to cut it. Now you can even trim off this excess green around your yarn, um, around your scent bag too there. Okay, now you got a good, good patch there. You can take your scent, put that on your patch, and now when you fish this thing, the scent's so strong, you're going to be able to fish this for 20 minutes and you take it out of the water and 
you're gonna be able to smell that scent. It's, it's unbelievable how it works. So that's a little trick there, guys. Uh, give it a shot, see how it works, and hopefully it brings you some more success on the water. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.